Welcome back to another De Montfort University Art Club with me. What we're going to do today, we're going to use recyclable materials, plastic bottles and tubs. We should all have loads of this knocking about. Don't just throw it away. Reuse it for something cool. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take the top off, right? Clear all this stuff off it. Then we're going to coat it with papers and PVA glue. Right, and what that's going to make is a plant pot. Now, once you've done it, you can let it dry and paint it all up so it looks like a real proper plant pot. You can put it on your windowsill, um, put it outside your door, put it in your garden, anywhere. Put some soil in it, either bulbs or seeds, and then watch it grow. Best thing is, if you put vegetable seeds in, like a small tomato plant, or maybe a lettuce, or something like that, eventually, you're gonna be able to eat that. How cool is that? And it's really simple. Let's get started. So, what do we need to do first? First of all, we need to make it into the shape of a plant pot. So, take off any stuff like this, okay? We can actually get rid of that because we're not going to use that. All right, so take that off of all your bottles that you're going to use. Now, always remember, guys, always remember, when we're using these things, what do we have to do? Get someone to help you, okay? Don't struggle. They're sharp. I don't want to see anyone snipping hands or fingers, okay? Be careful. So... If you want to cut a bottle, if you want to cut it nice and neat, take the lid off, okay? Empty out anything that's in it. Bit of lemonade. Then, I'm going to do, so I thought I'm going to do a low sort of plant, a squarish one. I'm going to do a medium sized one, about this tall. And then this one, I think I'm going to do it nice and tall because I quite like Something big to grow out of that. So, take your lids off. Keep the lids, right? Because if you make something like a dragon or, you know, a car out of recycled materials, use these for the eyes or the wheels or whatever. We'll use those later. So, always keep the lids. Right. Chop. the top of the bottle off. So this one I'm going to keep as tall as I can. Okay. So again, be careful. And I want to do this as neat as possible. Now if you want, you can keep that bit as well. Because if you were to grow certain vegetables, sometimes you need to start them off in a little mini greenhouse. So if you plant up a plant that's struggling to grow because it gets cold or whatever, Stick that on the top, you can water through there, and that will act as a little mini greenhouse, so keep that bit as well, right? One pot done, let me find the other one. Okay, let's try again with this one. This one I'm gonna do a bit lower, so. Cut it. See, this is quite hard, but that's good, because it'll make a good solid plant pot. Cut the top off again. We'll keep that because we might use it later on. So there you go. I've now got a nice flat square one, right? A tallish one for something that will grow bigger. And then a small little cool one, which would make quite a cool little present. All of these will make cool presents. You could plant these up. Take them back to school when you go back to school. Might have a good plant in there. You could give them as presents. You could put a bow on it. Let's get started and see what we do with ours. Luckily for me, I've got this little outdoor studio space that I can use. So it is a bit messy, right? But if you're working at home, try and keep it neat and tidy for the sake of your parents or whoever's looking after you, okay? Because we're all stuck at home and we all need to look after those spaces, right? So make sure you do that. So I've got my brush and I've got my glue. Now, we're gonna start 
by ripping our paper, coating it with glue and sticking it onto the pot. covered each of our little tubs in a nice layer of newspaper and PVA glue. Lovely and sticky and messy. And this one, I even put two, it's a bit sticky, two bits of string on so it'll make a little basket. So when your plant grows out, gives it that extra feature. So let's let them dry and then we're going to come back and paint them. Now, did you know that you can grow pretty much anything in your windowsill? So something I've been growing lately is, believe it or not, watermelon, right? So if you take a watermelon and you eat it, but keep the seeds, put the seeds into a glass of water, okay? The seeds that sink are the ones that you can plant. So if you put soil in here, a watermelon seed in, cover it, give it a little bit of water every day. Within a week, it will start to grow, okay? Try it out, see what happens. I've got a tub of white paint, and I'm going to give them a full coat of white. Sometimes things go wrong when you're painting and when you're doing stuff. You know, you'll get a run of paint that will go down your canvas or, you know, across your work or you'll splash paint or something. Don't worry about it. If you're an artist, you can get away with that sort of thing. It's called a happy accident. Remember that. So, I'm going to start adding some design. Okay, so it's quite thin, but I reckon that that, see look, look at that running. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna keep that. My paintings are all quite loose and they're all quite different. Some of them um, are plant-based because I do like plants, you know. I like uh, nature and things growing and recycling. and So yeah, I paint a lot of that sort of thing. But with this, now look, if I put a drip there, see what's happening, look. So you know what, for this, I'm actually gonna drip from each bit. That's gonna be my design. Happy accident. So there we go, I'm gonna let that one dry. That looks quite cool. Quite pleased with that. I'm going to finish the others. Right, so that's where we're at at the minute. We've got our little happy accidents on this one. We've stuck to the red, yellow and the red on all of them. Now, all I'm going to do is put some detail on with a pen and we'll be finished. Right, I've finished painting them up, added the detail, I've put some soil in, and I've put some plants in. So the big tall one on the left, believe it or not, is a spring onion that if you leave for a few weeks, that's what happens to them. The one in the middle is a watermelon plant that's just starting to grow. And then the other tall one is some sort of orchid type flower. So there you go. All really simple, easy stuff. See you next time.